Um, and we're here today um, just to kind of drive home the message to the National Restaurant Association who continues to push this minimum wage of 213 for restaurant workers. Half of all restaurant workers are women, but two-thirds of the people on the much lower minimum wage of 213 are women. Which means that by law, the restaurant industry has set it up so that by law, women are paid less, five dollars less than everybody else in the U.S. workforce. I've worked as a restaurant worker for over 18 years and have been legally paid less than $3 an hour. I have had to rely primarily on cash tips to support myself and my two children. During my 18 years as a tip server, my income was incredibly inconsistent. From day to day, I would earn anywhere between $20 to $60 a ship, averaging perhaps $2.50 a week, and my tips were an unreliable source of income. As a single parent of two children, the only way I was able to have roof over my head provided for my family was by residing with my parents, relying on them for child care and with the support of government in the form of state-funded health insurance, food stamp benefits, and subsidized state care. I served families food for a living, but I was eligible for food stamps. Thank you! rent, bills, college loans, um, if you have a family, like, take care of your kids, provide health insurance. It's just impossible to survive. You're always juggling things, so we just need a little bit more of a raise so that we can have more sustainable lives. I know that if I'm only making two thirteen dollars an hour, I have to really prioritize between, well, should I pay for textbooks, or, you know, should I buy groceries, or should I pay for tuition, or should I sit a semester out? Um, so it's really challenging to have to make decisions between things that should be, you know, equal equal rights, like education and fair health and, you know, the, the kind of right to, to live to live and work in an industry uh, where you're valued. And I have a college education um, and it's on the dean's list, like I'm not incapable of uh, making it in this world, but um, this is a systematic issue, this is a political issue, and we can change it, so we're here to lobby and um, educate Congress and, and try to get things changed. I want everybody to know that they have been actively advocating for $2.13 for the last 21 years. It's not an accident, it's completely political, completely the will of the NRA and their friends in Congress, and we need to change that together.